Hi Libra, this is your reading for the 6th to the 12th of February 2023 and welcome back. I'm using the uh, transparent tarot uh, that was made by Shiva Redfeather and the author is Emily Carding. She's an actress, an author and oh, she's amazing. She's absolutely brilliant. I did an interview with her. She's got such a great sense of humour as well. Also, I'll be doing a next layer on top of this um, in the extended. So for those that are paying members can see what I mean when I say it's just like a film. It's just like the old cine material that the uh, pictures were made uh, of or on. Welcome back and we'll, uh, two days after this week we'll have um, Valentine's again so I might do some love readings. I don't know. I've put a poll out on the community to see what type of readings people prefer. So because I do something like 83 videos a week because I do dailies, I do weeklies, I have done the yearlies um, so and I'm doing extended after each weekly I do extended so it's and then I make shorts and you can find me on Tumblr so hello my listeners my cyber angels on YouTube Facebook and also on uh, Instagram um, but it is more the storyline of Facebook um, and also you can find me on Pinterest so here we go and most of my um, reviews are also done on interest so here we go and your ancestors is here this is jumping out at me the fluorescent light here the rainbow the ancestors are definitely here again a sort of type of rainbow here so definitely your ancestors are protecting you and telling you that they love you and they're all right don't worry so much because things are going to become better for you this week and in this time of Aquarius. Right, you come in with the world. What goes round comes round. What goes up must come down. The world also means an ending to a phase of life or a phase of a project. This could also be a new start going on to the next level. This can be in romance, this can be in life in general, this can be in your career. Wow, you are literally finishing off, uh, letting go of old things and you are ready to welcome the new in. You could be meeting or dealing with a Taurus, a Leo, a Scorpio or an Aquarius. Talking about Aquarius, I was talking about the Aquarian energy didn't realize uh, uh, obviously I only read the cards when I come to them okay so you could also be moving home or moving the business expanding the home or the business as you can go on to the next level but you can also be going on holiday perhaps your mind is also stopping um, churning and gnawing at you because you feel on top of the world you are in balance you've got nothing to hide you are literally and figuratively ready for the new you are ready to branch out and definitely expansion is here some of you could be getting engaged married or starting a family or expanding the family with a child or a pet you could also be getting a promotion or a wage rise branching out into an other sector or specializing in your field of expertise number 21 is three so that means creative and productive um, definitely on the right track you might have had hard times but you've closed off a phase in life or a phase in a project and you are stronger than ever as you've got the judgment card number 20 so i think you could also be partnering up you could have a new start it's the phoenix rising from the ashes the judgment judgment could be passed on you if you are in a judicial situation but it will be more to your advantage you are on top of the world so i think that's going to be good news this is a new start or a second chance, a reconciliation 
with a friend or with a partner in business or in romance, definitely like you are ready to reach for the sky and fly. And oh my gosh, fly, yes. We've got the butterfly here, but there could be some delays. But I believe the delays are over because look at this rose arising from this a seed through being pushing through the soil perhaps some dry soil soil so definitely you're no longer the caterpillar you are the butterfly but this is not the death card but it is telling me you are ready to spread your wings to reach for the sky and fly you are ready and strong enough this is the nought card so this is the full card you are no longer the fool. You're not immature. You're not naive. You are have taken time out. Um, you've taken time out um, to learn. Then that's why you are rising from the ashes. You can only rise if you are strong enough in your muscles. Let me put it that way. Also, um, definitely... Uh, you are ready for anything. You can face anything. So don't worry. Um, also, the, the, the butterfly is also comes from a cocoon. It's like a cave. It ha the, butter the, the caterpillar has no experience, has no life knowledge or life experience. And the butterfly is and it has because it has transformed it is weighted it is grown whilst he's been growing he has the knowledge so and experience on how to fly he's strong enough he trusts his, himself he has faith in himself so yes he's not scared to lose the flight because he can pick it up again by flapping its wings so have faith in yourself, trust yourself, also use your intuition. This is also a very in, intuitive card, a spiritual card, because it's the beginning of something bigger and better. So have faith. Your wish is coming true, um, Libra, as you've got the star. The star is number 17, so you, and that becomes an 8, so you are definitely in your strength your strength you've grown a heck of a lot you are strong enough you can take anything on or anybody this is also the physical strength that i'm talking about but you are, are usually very well read and you are capable you know the ins and outs because you have no you have to be sharp as the point of a sword and to cut away the BS to get to the truth of things. Well, you could be definitely, um, you're stronger as you've got the eight. So you have cut away, like I said, you're not the fool anymore. You don't tolerate fools either, not lightly. And that's why you will use your sword. Your dreams, your wishes, your goals are ready to explode and come to an exist existence. Also, the star means um, or represents Aquarius again. Probably there could be an Aquarius around you. You are in the spotlight. Where there is spotlight, there's recognition. There is um, definitely people are seeing you, how strong you are, how determined you are and how you are working hard to put your plans together. You're taking action. The divine is seeing it. The cosmos is seeing it. So that means that your wish will come true, whether it's in love or in career. Also, you've got the dark side of the spotlight. You need to, something could be drawing your attention. Something will be lit or um, yeah, illuminated. So definitely, uh, do take action and give it your attention. Do the research, especially if you're signing new contracts or documents. Get the small print checked out. Secrets could be revealed. But I feel that plans are going to come together. You, if you didn't succeed the first time, now is the chance that you will succeed because you've got the judgment card, a, re, um, um, a second chance, 
and you are on top of the world so you are in balance if you've got a company or a, a yes a company or a shop you could be doing uh, you could be starting a web shop or you could be going from global to international it will be a great success you don't want people to be codependent, you can't cope with people that are codependent, you want people that are strong, that aren't fools. This is the romance card, but you can also have people in your firm or in your private life that always are demanding your attention, your energy. Stand up for yourself and tell them, this is a bit like the devil's card that they should stop leaning on you, especially if it is a partnership in romance or business. It should be balanced, just like you. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. This could be their addictions, their codependency. It doesn't have to be drugs, alcohol or um, uh, sex and rock and roll. It can be that they're burning the candle on both sides or they're eating too much sweets or they're not eating enough, they're not taking care of themselves, they want you to be the one that takes care of them. They're general dog's body. Don't be nobody's doormat or general dog's body. Tell them to seek professional advice. And then you could uh, perhaps try again. That's that second chance. But no, uh, where you've been, do you want to go back to it? That's all I'm saying. Remember, a fox sheds his fur, but not his tricks. Also, if you are codependent, then perhaps you need to um, seek professional help so that your wish can come true, so that you can reach up to the sky and fly. Look at the big picture. But I think your plans are, I think you are not the one that's codependent. I think somebody else is. Could be a partner or children. So be careful. You've got three here. And you had three here. So it's the angel double number. Okay. The angels have your back. Like I said, the ancestors are here as well. Abundance is coming in. This could be love. This could be money. But plans are coming to fruition. As you've got the three of wands. Life is, oh sorry, a purpose for all things. Yes, everything has a purpose. Life is a mysterious pro progression of individual evolution. True. Evolution, definitely from uh, a, um, a caterpillar to a butterfly. It's the next level. It can be hard to understand and even more so to accept why events manifest the way they do. You may be wondering sometimes desperately exactly what purpose each experience serves, yet the answers still elude you. Take comfort in assurance of knowing that everything you've lived through carries a personal promise of resolution. You will, in accordance with divine tying, reunite with your loved ones and find the healing and happiness that you seek. The divine ways are exacting, exacting um, and beautifully just. Today, do your part by replacing cynicism and bitterness with optimism and trust. For you are indeed deeply loved and your life is a carefully thought out to suit your soul alone. Okay? You can share your soul and your being, your wisdom, your experiences, but the, 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 um, the, the plans for your life is for your soul purposes. And sometimes people leave us or we leave people because we outgrow and we've learned our spiritual lesson from them and they from us. So don't feel guilty if you are separating or have been separated because something big and beautiful is coming in. Something worldly. Wow. So I hope you enjoyed this message Libra. 
and I will go on to the extended version for paying members now. Thank you for your support, shares and likes and reactions. Take care.